Hello everybody and welcome back to Rest of Blockers. Yes, I know it's been quite a while, but thankfully Ryan Mars' computer here is here and as you can see, we got the best graphics Minecraft can offer. Well, without mods that is, and uh well, let's get started. Last time we left off we were on D flip flops over there, so now we're going on to JK flip flops. Now a JK flip flop is another memory element, which like the D flip flop will never uh will only change its output state only when the clock signal C changes from zero or from one to XOR, okay? Um, the C is right over where the sorry. The C is right over here yonder. The control. Okay. And then this is I believe that is the J and that is the K. Now with the uh, memory elements of the JK flip flop as you can see here, nothing is happening when this clock loops through and turns it on or off. Okay. Um, when I flip this though Notice how when this is on, it turns on. And yes, it keeps getting updated, but it will still stay the same. That's because we have two two R S the two R S nor latches here. All right. Now you do both of them. Now it inverts itself at both times. Because what happens is the R S nor latch here, because this is off, this latch turns off, and then this one turns on, and then this one turns on, and that one turns off. So because it's they basically reset each other each time. However, if I turn this one off, that clears it, so to speak. This one brings it to the down state. This, when they're both, uh, when they're both off, does nothing. I can have this here. And this basically locks the state. If both of them are on, it locks the state. This brings it to down. And this brings it up both of them together and you get in it, they both turn on and off so that's the basics of a JK flip-flop now design a here and B over the uh, sorry not B B was deleted or while it holds a certain value it's a level triggered latch okay and when the flip-flop is triggered like I said if J equals 1 and K equals 0 the output equals 1 when J equals 0 and K equals 1 the output is zero. Yes, I believe I said that right. And if both J and K are zero, then the JK flip flop maintains its previous state. Both are one, then it will complement itself as it's called. And it will change as we said before. Now um the complement function is something where it's only meaningful with edge trigger JK flip flops as it's an instantaneous triggered condition. Um with the level triggered flip flops, uh for example in design C over here, um it has a race condition that if the output is on for too long, it will overload. So let's just turn on its complement function here. So the invert. Here's the problem. You give it a power too long, then that happens. That's the one trick with these things, because it's a, uh, it's an edge, because it's a uh, not an edge trigger. Because level that's the problem with level triggers, because they will race like that. Now, um, as we can see here in this state, we have two outputs. This one is not main is the main one, and then the one over here. When I flip this off, it says it's locks the state and it inverts. So notice when this one turns on, that one turns on, and that one turns off. So basically they're in a sense it's inverted. When that one's on, that one's off, and that one's on. Okay. Uh, I'll just show you a bit of the circuiting for this. When it goes into this block here, there is a redstone torch beneath this. And what this torch does is it powers the block here. It on because of the quick burst, as you can see here, it gives it enough quick boost for it to, as you can see, there's actually an RS Norlatch running here. Because the this is A's on. So what happens is it sends over to this. And because the circuit here turns it off, these get power, which turns this off. However, the next one goes, that one turns on this, which turns on this latch. So there's two latches on this side and on that side. Okay. This is basically the same thing. I just had this for a switch. Anyway, um, moving on to design D here. This one's probably one of the best ones because it's small for its what they usually entail. JK flip-flops are no small circuit but this is kind of the best way to compact them 
Uh, as you can see here, it's indicating it's on state for this. Unlike the other one where it was inverted, this one here when it's on, that one will stay on, and that one's off when this one's off. So it has the same complement function where if they're both on, they will invert or they will change each time it's updated. Now if I have this one, it will stay in this state. And if I turn both off, it will maintain its state as usual. As you can see here is when it receives the signal. These basically uh, act as AND gates, so to speak, and they basically keep it in an ON state. And when it receives it, it quickly sends a signal to the repeaters. This, they stay, these stay on all the time. However, it gives it a quick instant burst here to turn off. Uh, only if it's updated, though. As you can see there, this one quickly turned off because it w this was off, so it, allowed, it gave it time to spin through. However, the reason it's not turning off now is because of this RS neural latch here, where it powers through, and then it loops around and locks it into place. However, when you flip it to the next one, this will turn off, allowing this to uh, turn itself off, because the problem with repeaters is if they power themselves, they will stay on, unless you cut the power. In this case, it's being powered from this, not from itself. Okay. Now, for the last design here for the day, we have design E. This is a vertical one, as you can see. Now, it's very... It has the race condition from uh, design C over there. However, it's on a different level in the sense of that it doesn't require a constant output. As you can see there, they're both on. It will do that. Um, I checked this design. I don't know why it's doing that. It really shouldn't be. But um, this circuit can be built in a series side by side by spacing the circuit one block apart and alternating the direction of the circuit left to right, here, right to left here left to right basically it weaves its way down like this and it'll just in a long zigzag and you keep going through with it like i said um to explain jk flip-flops more they are memory elements and there's two inputs there's the j and the k and in this case so j would give it a positive input and then k would give it a negative input so as in a or b c is complement so it gives it both and then the uh, both of them off gives it nothing. It just locks it into place. It doesn't have a clear function. The only thing that can clear it is an update from it. So as you can see here, it sends a pulse through, and I'll give you a, just quick here so you can look at it and get a good feel for what it looks like. These designs are also on the Minecraft wiki, so if you need have trouble seeing on the video, you can take a look at them on there. Uh, that pretty much covers it, guys. I'll just show you when I flip this one here. It, it's staying a state, however, I turn this on. It will stay on now, even when I flip this back off. So that's pretty much it with JK flip flops are, guys. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I, like I said, I will try to get these out a lot more often because I enjoy doing this and I enjoy hearing the positive feedback I've been getting. And as I usually say, spread the word. Uh, the more people I have that can come to me, the better. It helps me get more people, so it helps motivate me to make more videos. And you know, like, subscribe, do whatever else you feel like. So thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.